Clark. That's Ryan Clark over to Fraser Pierce on his left boot. Chance here. Taken by Clark again. Well done, though, by Cunningham. Smother comes. Ball still to be won. Well done by Ryan Clark. It's been busy, Ryan Clark. Yeah. Silvani was up. Well, not Silvani. That was um, um, Jaden Collins was up early. And in, in the end, it's come back nicely round the corner to Harley Ballack. And Ballack can uh, shoot from about 40 metres. Right to Gresham. Little chip pass from him. Good hard running there from uh, Ryan Clark to get into the open. Clark. Over the oh. one beats two. Good evasion skills. And look at this. Yeah. He set it up beautifully to the outer side. It's having a great quarter, Ryan Clark. Yep. Clark to Silvani. He's going to get it back, Clark. Now this is the important kick. And he finds his target. And getting the mark is Cabadier just. Ooh, yeah, the umpire probably thought, no, he's going to get that eventually. If we just go back, though, Matty, we saw the turnover choosing to pursue their dreams with the AFL. Yeah, I had to hang up the uh, wicketkeeper gloves. It was a sad day. <laughs> There's a leap. Archie. Cut off nicely by Clark. He's had a good quarter, as Britton mentioned, and now he deserved the goal. So Ryan Clark gets his first goal. That's three for the quarter of Victoria, and that's now a pretty comfortable lead of 31 points. Parsons, uh, you've, you've touched on him a couple of times. Yeah, good work from Parsons. And Ryan Clark, yes, to go on with him, the goal kicker. Boy from Melbourne Grammar, Eastern Rangers in the TAC Cup. Um, he's known for his gut running. You love to see that on your CV, that you work hard. He's an elite 15-2 beat tester so it's his work rate that really wins in the footy uh, and that just a smart little finish there and uh, he's a guy that uh, good kick in the end because now they can set they can just get a bit of poise and settle it down a bit it's Hisham Cabatier with the chip into the pocket he saw the lead it was a well-timed kick well-timed lead from Clark difficult angle though though it's gonna be a tough kick as Shifter just mentioned, you love his gut running, and late in the quarter, this is these these are the players the AFL recruiters will be noting, the ones that can really push himself into position, and also too, uh, Clark, who's had a great game as a midfielder, the ability to go forward and do exactly that, kick goals, yep. uh, that has to raise your stakes in the draft. Those players that can play in multiple positions, um, ready ready to play AFL, step in. These are the ones that uh, we should see high. On, in, in the draft order late, later in the season. So two goals in a row to Victoria, two goals in a row to Ryan Clark. He's now had 12 disposals, so he's climbing up that disposal list. Nice finish from him. Had 42 more disposals now, Vic Metro. So have, uh, have played some AFLs, a couple of boys there, and Christian Petrarca that's injured would have played. He had a terrific summer until he did the ACL in February. Brayshaw uh, will a rising star. Later today, he oh. is, well, he is going to be a rising star nomination at some stage, you would think, on his very impressive form. Doesn't he use the football? As and Jay Gresham continues his great run. Uh, this is his third game in the championships. Come Goes back, taken there nicely by Ballack. Good vision again from him. Clark's had a brilliant second quarter. Kicked two goals right on the 50-metre line, just out of his range. Cabadier says, just kick it on top of my head. I'll do something special. Well, he's waiting. Well, he's going to have a go. Why not? He's kicked two for the quarter. It'll need his best. It's close. Right to the courage shown by Gresham. He's had a wonderful game. So too has this man, Ryan Clark. Been terrific. Pulls the kick, but he pulled it too much. Strong legs too, so it doesn't, he's a superstar. Uh, doesn't necessarily operate. They'll have 48 hours to get the reports in. They'll go back to the tape again and double check that what uh, they saw with the naked are quietly, very thoroughly. Some are taking handwritten notes, some are looking at their computer. Gee, that was a pure, <laughs> period of play where everything happened there except the goal. It was really good pressure, really, yep. but, um, but it's our uh, probably the most influential player on the ground, uh, Ryan Clark. Clark's been great, hasn't he? He's got a free kick here from, what, 10 metres out, slight angle. So he's going to line up for goal number three. 19th disposal for Ryan Clark. And goal number three, so he finishes off. He gets the first goal for Victoria for the third quarter. And they worked hard to keep it in their forward 50 there. Three times that uh, WA were going to work it out. The pressure came from Clark in the right place at the right time. Wins the free kick. Just see here. Head down. A little bit unlucky. There was not, not a lot that... Uh, yeah, still a little bit clumsy by Rotham. He just Rotham. he just went in at yeah. a bad angle, and we know with the current rules yeah. and the uh, the protection of the head, uh, he just took the wrong angle. He had to stop and prop and get more side onto that contact. So margin back out to 28 points for Victoria. Important goal though for Metro, just to sort of stem the tide. Yep, yeah, it was three in a row 
for WA and Clark's been terrific to watch. Sando, it's interesting you mentioned that. I know at half time the coach spoke about they were minus. So back in the middle. Beautifully done by Clark. Oh, they look. Oh, he just steps through them nicely, doesn't he? He's got time. He's got poise. What about this man? What a game Clark's had. And he was just a skinny young boy almost, it seemed. Yep. And, and obviously, as uh, Shifter mentioned, Brad Lloyd at Fremantle made a great decision in, in, in taking the pick 20. Uh, I've been pleased with the boys in all of our four games so far. You know, I've really been wrapped with their just their honesty and the way they go about their footy. Um, and just today, it's been a, a, our ability, I suppose, to... Um, the boys that look like early selections that play key position or even some ruck-type roles. So that's a bit unusual, but, uh, yeah, it's some... The uh, full forward, almost, um, which he played that role really well in the last couple of weeks. Clark did well. Yeah. Done some good things, Kevin. Matthew Perry. Yeah, like his potential for Downs clearance goal. Um, this is AFL standard. Overlap, run and carry. Uh, great poise here by Clark. Forward handball. Ball going in the right direction over Victoria. Gresham again. Clark. Those two mm. have been superb. And we talked about Gresham doing something. They've got a team that, fair to say, that is building towards next year. Uh, they did beat South Australia by a point in an, an He was back in the days of country zones, but he spent a, a lifetime in the game as a player, then a coach, a development coach at Hawthorne. So he prefers to be down age against the younger West Australian side. You might grab your thoughts at quarter time. Back to you, Matty. Comfortably would win this game, but their ball use is much better than Metro's at the minute. Clearing kick. What suits Schoenfeld? Sure. Wouldn't have thought Dane Swan had a traditional body shape either, boys, but he's, he's got pretty handy. He's got a traditional waddling run, <laughs> and he's just very good footballer. It's, I think it's important when you... ...between uh, how to coach at underage footy compared to uh, coaching at senior level at AFL. Um, but we... <laughs> One thing I don't like, uh, and both of these sides have done... Now they're away. Batty, good kick to the advantage of Clark, can use more. He's captained the under-15 Indigenous side, the Boomerangs, a couple of years ago, Captain WA's under-16 state team last year. With the more experienced, and you say that in an under-18 since you sound, sound silly, but yeah. they have got a lot of bottom ages, Western Australia, but it's right. And maybe get a late one before half-time. And they get the kick away through Clark. Not the boundary line, and they get... Currently on the park today. Hinchcliffe gets it and kicks it to the square. Waterman keeps his feet on the left. What a, a goal-saving, diving smother. But Waterman might get another go at it. And he has saved a goal. It's a good finish. Got out in the ruck. Ball at ground level. Clark. Got his kick away. Smith by hand over the top. Waterman back to help out. Couldn't get his hands away quickly. It was a good tackle. Great some rule running carry. Chance here though for Clark once Medicine. Just missing his target, making it half volley, but they're equal to it here. And that's the opportunity some boys get uh, now to travel around the world with a particular sport. 50 for South Australia with Wimbledon on at the moment. He's only been playing football for two years. He's a uh, 203 centimetre former tennis player that decided uh, that his passion was AFL football, which is fantastic. A well, great decision. Tennis have been wanting to get a wriggle on in the second quarter here in Metro. They're being pantsed at the minute. Well, we haven't seen a quarter like this for quite a while. Oh, leader. Love to see that about a young fella. Morgan with the kick in. It was risky, but he found Clark. And they've got some run going here. But Gresham's got to beat one, beat two, and he does. Clark needs help. Kick ins. They've come straight down the middle. Looking to move the ball quickly to even number contests ahead of the ball. That's just what's let them down, though, just some of their decision making. Drop mark by Malira, chance of Victoria off the back of it. And he'll pick him off, won't he? Set marks. Clark gives it to Cunny. They just look alert, though, South Australia defensively. They're really fighting hard to let, not let the ball just fly out of their, uh, their forward 50. Agostino overruns the spoil. Well, they're forcing it wide. There. Gets it back. Goes out wide. Numbers here. It's better. Two Pe men Peters had a couple of games. Darcy Moore not yet there. And Duggan's been Duggan's good. Duggan's been excellent. Been really good. Just ends up a super group of young men that are now stars of the AFL. Uh, so you really do need to wind that clock back. Yeah. About the five-year mark. 
uh, to find your group of stars. And every year you win, you'll have, uh, um, well, they'll end up on the Hall of Fame. Should be cleared. It is by Morgan to Clark. Into the middle, he spots Cabadier on his own, and he's got a player further afield. Sermon back for South Australia. Good work, Moore. Good Might have forced the error. Back to Clark. He gets free by hand, looking for Fiorini, but it's three on one. It spills back for Clark. Good vision. Fiorini. They're just going wide and safe at the moment. Metro, they've played their best footy today when they've taken the game on. Yeah. And in the middle of the ground, take some risks. The short wide to the boundary is not working for him. Here you go. Might be forward too. Yeah, he's got Clark. Kick just drops oh, yeah. tight, strong. Yeah, Clark looks up. Collins runs on for him. Oh, it's come from nearly came 50. from nowhere. It's nearly 50. To be well, what, did you hear a play on call? There's it must no have been there. It's holding the ball. It's going to be a Victorian kick yeah. anyway. So maybe there's uh, some justice in that. Oh, that that's, that's, 50 that's 50 every day of the week. I didn't hear play on, but anyway, he's got it up there. Oh. Big number, South Australia. Love the Balak. Spots a man forward. Good running this victory. They've got numbers. Crocker.